Hey there, welcome to Board Game Barrister, our local game shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It is Tuesday once again, and every single Tuesday we get to play a game. Today we played The Number from designer Hisashi Hayashi and Repos Production. It's a cool little game where all you gotta do each round is write a number between 0 and 999, but there's a chance your number might get knocked out of the round if somebody else shares a digit with it. We had a great time with it. I'm here with my fellow barristers, Ian, Elizabeth, Glenn, and Gordon. And before we talk about our game, we're gonna talk about how to play. Welcome to The Number, a game where we're gonna try to score points by writing down numbers. Numbers, the higher the number you write, the more points you'll get, but the higher the number you write, the higher chance that you'll get knocked out of the round by somebody else. So when the game starts, each player needs these two little boards in their color. One of them is for scoring and marking which numerals you've used, and the other is to write your secret number on every round. In each round of the game, all you need to do is secretly write down a three-digit number on your number tile here. As an example, let's say I wrote 455. Now I'm going to put my number tile face down in the center of the table and all the other players are going to do the same. And then we're going to flip over all our numbers, see what everyone wrote, and see who scores this round. So the first thing we're going to do is to put them in numerical order. So there's a player who had a 944, then comes our 455, 376, and 123 at the bottom. We're gonna start by looking at the highest number on the table, and we're gonna see if that number shares any digits whatsoever with any number that's smaller than it. So in this case, any of the other numbers on the table. The 944 does in fact share a four with our 455, and that means that they were a little too risky with their high number, they are eliminated this round. Now comes our 455. We actually do not share any digits with these other two, that's actually amazing for us, so our 455 will score. The 376 is gonna to compare to the one below it, and it actually does share that three, so the 376 gets eliminated as well. Now all the numbers that do not get eliminated are going to score points this round. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the first digit on these. Ours is a four, which means we score four points but we also have to keep track of which of the scoring numbers is the highest because the highest number that doesn't get eliminated each round is also gonna get a little bonus. So it's the first turn of the game. We're gonna look in this box here to record our score. We've got four points because our first digit was a four and then the bonus for the highest scoring number this round is a plus two as you can see in the small box here. So that means we're gonna get a total of six points. Now that bonus increases round by round, so the highest scorer next round is gonna get a bonus three points, bonus four, bonus six, and then a bonus eight. And then the last thing we have to record at the end of the turn here is the digits we use. Now only the players who weren't eliminated do this, and those who scored this round are going to cross off the numbers they used in their number tile. So I used the five and the four in my 455. I cannot use those two digits again for the rest of this round. So we're gonna play through a total of five rounds here. You can see the five boxes with bonuses on them. Let's pause for a second here because I'm about to start getting pretty fast and loose with the terms round and turn. So let's talk about what each of those actually means. In the rule book for this game, a turn is each number everybody writes and the one box we're gonna fill out to score that one number. So in this case, the 455 scoring me six points means that I scored six points that turn. A round is five turns. So as we score each of those five boxes, that represents an entire round. As you're about to hear, I'm going to start using the term round to represent just about everything, which is incorrect. And it's worth noting that everybody who's not eliminated in that fifth round is going to double their score, and then the highest not eliminated player is going to get that bonus eight points after that. So let's say by the end of that fifth round, our scores look something like this. There's definitely going to be rounds where you get eliminated because somebody lower than you had a same digit as you and knocked you out of the round. For those, you can just write dashes or zeros. You score nothing for those rounds regardless. And in this last box here, we're actually going to record and score points for the number of digits we used over the course of the round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven X's means I get seven more points. So it actually does help you to use as many digits as possible over the course of each round. We'll total up our score in the box on the far right there, and then we're gonna flip over that tile and write our score on the back of the tile. The entire game takes place over two rounds, so we're gonna play one more, record that score, and then see what our final score was in the end. All right, so we just finished our first game. Each game is two rounds, it's quick and easy. Each round takes about 10 minutes, so we played for about 20 minutes and we were done with it. It was pretty awesome. But the one thing we would say about our number of players was that as you add more people, especially when you get to the limit, the five player limit, which is the high limit for the game, it does become a more random, slightly more arbitrary game. There's just more digits thrown into the mix, so the chance of somebody knocking out one of your numbers with one of those digits randomly or getting a really high scoring one by just sneaking one through that nobody else was able to do 
is going to be much more prevalent in a five-player game. So if that sounds interesting and you just want a game that is going to have that random aspect and you'll score some points or you won't, it was really fun at five, but if you want to get into the actual meat of the strategy, I'd say play with three or four. Okay. You guys all change them. Oh, I figured that's what Gordon is going to do. Me too. That's just dead meat. These are not in the right order. Nope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's crazy. Uh, so, 666 six, six is gone. 399 nine, three is gone. gone. 367 is gone. Two. And gone. Wow, and I get the highest? I get zero times two is zero, plus oh, eight is eight. Oh, you mathematician. Yeah. So there is a really interesting economy of using the numerals on your uh, board because if you put in a lot of variety, you have more chances of throwing other people out of the round. And if you use less variety, then you have you know better chances that someone's not gonna like duplicate you and throw you out of the round. But on the flip side to that, the more you use, the higher score you get for the bonus at the end because you've used more of your content. And if you do the the you know five five fives and the six six sixes, then you're just going to end up with a lower score on that bonus. And it's kind of meaningful. So there's a really interesting dichotomy of using that resource in this game. Yeah, that's why I switched to the one number followed by two of the same, because that way someone who went nine 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 and I went nine one one. I'm below them, yeah. I knock them out, but they don't knock me out. Yeah. Alright, I'm going on the round. offensive this time. No! All my points! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to do to you what you've been right. doing to me. And he's out. Dang it. This is out. I couldn't the pose one your person who could one. use an Oh, because I, I put that nine in there just for kicks. God, mm. this is the second time that that spurious nine, well, the three would have extra me. point. It's really interesting to note that the amount of thinking that you put into this game sometimes gives you a little bit of an edge, but it's also okay to just look at what you have available and just jot something down. Yeah, there's a class of games, we used to have a customer, he still comes in the store sometimes, but I don't know if he lives local, I don't know that one. So there are some games uh, that I would get a very specific request for in my, in my early days of a game where you can put in a lot of extra thought for a marginal extra advantage. Mm -hmm. That feels like this game right here. Like, if you want to pour your brain into this, you can. Will you get an advantage? Yes, you will. Will it win you the game every time? Uh, not necessarily. Yeah. All the while, somebody else could be, like, on their phone playing the game and probably <laughs> doing almost as well as you the entire time and have a great time with it as well. Well, I think that's the big advantage right there, right, is you have a game that can play with a wide, diverse amount of people and they can still have a ton of fun with it because you can choose which direction you want to go with it. Um, so if you've got a diverse group of friends that you want to play a game, a little party game is going to take you 20 minutes, but they all have different things they can pull out of something that they, they like. You can choose the completely random method. You can choose the guy who wants to hose everybody and put numbers to screw them over that's lower. You can choose who wants to think a ton about it and get the marginal advantage, whoever, and that's who this game is really going to be good for. And I will tell you, there is no greater joy in life than watching the analytical person going, Why did you play those numbers? <laughs> it's like, yep. Yeah. The other thing I think is really neat about this one is that, so it's a small little box, but also all you need is for each person at the table to have these two little dry erase pads. Uh, so you could play this in a lot of different places. As long as you can see the numbers other people wrote down when they show them, you don't lose any of the content in the game by bringing it elsewhere. All right, that about does it for the number. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a great time playing this one. We hope you had a fun time watching. And as always, if you hit that subscribe button, it means you're going to get to see us play games every single Tuesday and talk about those games. Hit that like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Check out the online store. We've got the number. We've got all the other cool games. And we will see you next week. Thanks for watching.